hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you will be notified on when i drop next update on twist of fit stay tuned on today's episode rambi tells prachi that he is getting late he has to get ready prachi asks him not to use her washroom Rambi tells her the cupboard, bed and washroom, everything belongs to him. He tells her that she can't stop him from using the washroom. She tells her her orders will be taken. He tells her he has the major right on his room. She asks him to prove it. He shows his stuff in the room and tells that the room is more of his things than hers. He tells that the decoration be meant for his wedding night. He asks her to let him take a bath in the washroom because he is comfortable in his room. Prachi tells that she would go for the bath first. He runs to the washroom. She yells at him. Rhea attempts to impress the family by cooking food for them. She gets Pallavi's blessings. Pallavi asks Rhea to make sweets first. She tells that she would accept Rhea as a bahu who she loves her a lot. Rhea gets happy. Pallavi hugs her. After she leaves, Rhea asks the helper to make the sweet. Helper asks her to make it that it's her first meal. Rhea tells that she will not make it. She just wants the family's love, that she can give more money to the helper for the work. Helper tells that Bahu should make the sweet to bring sweetness in the relation. Rhea tells that she doesn't believe in such tradition. She recalls Pratch's words and decides to make the sweet. Daddy meets Prachi and hugs her happily. She likes to see a strong Prachi. Prachi apologizes that she couldn't meet her. She is thankful that Daddy supported her. Daddy tells that she wanted to throw out Rhea from the house, but she failed. She tells her Pallavi isn't letting her do her wish. Prachi asks Daddy just to bless her. She tells her Rambi was going to marry Rhea and married as well, that she is upset. Daddy tells her Rhea threatened to threatened of suicide. Rambi got helpless to marry her. Prachi tells that it's just an excuse that Rambi married Rhea by his wish. He knows that Rhea is a liar. She doesn't want to forgive him. Daddy tells that Rambi was unwilling to marry. He was helpless. She asks Prachi why she come back in Rambi's life if she doesn't want to forgive him. Rambi gets ready for his office. He asks Daddy not to stay in an illusion that Prachi has changed. Prachi and Rambi argue a lot. Prachi tells that he got Rhea in his life. He has done wrong. He tells that he doesn't want to hurt her. She tells that his actions are very hurtful. Daddy finds love between them. She gets a hope of their union. Rambi tells that he can't tolerate Prachi. He asks Daddy to come with him. Daddy meets Pallavi and tells that she is happy that her bahu is back. Rhea takes Daddy's blessings. Rhea asks her to give the good blessings that she pre prospers in her marital life. Daddy tells that she blessed her as she wanted. Rhea gets angry on her. She asks Pallavi to have sweet. Pallavi asks her to serve it to everyone. She sends Rhea to call Rambi. Pallavi asks Daddy not to show unhappiness. Daddy asks Pallavi not to drag her in this matter. She tells that Prachi is the bahu in her eyes. She wants to bless just Prachi. Pallavi asks Daddy if Prachi has brainwashed her. Daddy tells that Prachi didn't teach her anything. She is doing her wish. Pallavi is surprised. Rambi feels something happens to him when Prachi is in front of him. She doesn't feel happy, angry on Prachi but himself that he is still thinking of her when he knows that Prachi has come in his life to take revenge. He wishes that she stays back for another reason. That's their love. Rambi and Prachi collide and land into a romantic moment. They recall their romantic times and also their bitter separation. Prachi doesn't want to recollect their good moment. She just wants to remember his betrayal. She remembers his challenge. Bria asks Rambi to come and have the sweet dish. She tells about the new Bahu's ritual of making sweet, that it brings sweetness in their relation. Rambi tells her there is another ritual in the house. They all dine together. Prachi thanks him for the invite. Ria gets upset. Prachi angers Ria by telling her about Rambi and her romantic moment. Prachi thanks Rambi and goes. Ria fights with Rambi. Rambi tells that Prachi was falling down. He just helped her. She asks him not to stoop to Prachi's level. He asks Ria not to fight him else. She would just help Prachi this way. Alia calls Ria. 
Ria tells her that her life has changed completely. Alia tells her that she works for a company. She had gone for a foreign trip, but she is back in the city now. She asks her what she means by her message. Ria tells that Prachi is back, that there is some much drama in her life. She tells that Prachi did what Prachi did to snatch Rambi from her. She feels she is going to lose everything. Alia asks her not to worry that she is coming there to handle things. Ria doesn't want to lose to Prachi. Palavi finds Prachi coming along Ram B for the breakfast. Prachi doesn't care for anyone and sits to have the food. Ria tells that she would serve the food to Ram B. Palavi tells that they were waiting for Ria. Prachi tells that she didn't want to f wait for Ria. She asks Ria to serve the food to her as well. Daddy likes to see Prachi's way of traveling Ria. Prachi tells that she is in the family just for Rambi and he knows it well. Ria serves the sweets to them. Palavi asks Daddy to have it too. Daddy tells that Ria has shown her talents before as well. She dislikes the sweet. She asks Palavi to eat it. Palavi praises the sweet. Ria offers it to Prachi, but the latter refuses to have it. Ria asks Rambi to have the sweets by her hand. It will look more tasty. Rambi also dislikes it at Daddy. Ria asks Palavi why Rambi is behaving like that. She also tastes the sweet. She is shocked to taste it. Rambi tells that it's too sugary. Palavi tells that they should appreciate Ria's effort. Prachi jokes on Ria's sugary touch. Palavi asks Rambi to scold Prachi. Prachi asks Palavi not to get fights between a husband and a wife and calls it unfair. She asks Rambi not to spoil his mood and have food at the office. She shows her right on Rambi. She feeds the cord and sugar to him for his important meeting. Rambi doesn't understand if she has come for her revenge or her right on him. He gets confused by her behavior. Prachi asks him to leave for office. Ria yells at him. Rambi asks Ria not to get troubled. Ria asks him if he isn't troubled. He is he liking whatever Prachi is doing. Rambi doesn't answer and goes. Ria stops Prachi and wants her to stay away from her husband Rambi. Prachi tells Ria that she has to go for shopping. She asks Ria not to waste her time. Ria asks her to leave the house. They both have a heated argument. Ria asks Prachi to die. Why? Why is she alive like she has a reason to live? Prachi has the baby as a reason for her life. She tells Ria that she would not give her a chance to stay happy now. She asks that she loves Ria a lot before. She was blinded and now she has seen the truth. She reveals that she had seen Ria's bad sight on Rambi and realized Ria's plan as well, but didn't pay attention because of the trust. She tells that they have no relation between them now. She would settle their scores. Ria tells that Rambi has married her by his wish. Prachi has already lost her husband. It's no use to fight for him. She challenges that she would throw Prachi out in two days. Prachi asks when she will win if she wastes her life in these things. Rambi meets his old friend Jay after a long time. Jay thanks him for being so nice to his brother Shiv. Rambi asks Jay to become his personal manager until Shiv resumes. He updates about his meetings. Jay tells that he would read the files until they reach the hotel. Prachi goes for the checkup at the hospital. She gets to hear the baby's heartbeat. She cries that Rambi isn't with her. The baby is also alone like her. She doesn't want Rambi to be with her but with the baby. Prachi thinks she was alone when she got the pregnancy news and when she heard her baby's heartbeat. She wants Rambi to be with their baby but not with her. She gets surprised when she meets her old friend Shahana. Shahana tells that she had seen her before but missed to meet her. Prachi cries and hugs her. Shahana asks if she is not happy to see her. She asks the reason for her tears. She wants to know the truth. Prachi tells that there is much to tell her. Shahana asks her what the matter is. Prachi tells that she has a good news but she can't tell it to Rambi, whom she loves the most. She tells about her pregnancy. She regrets that she can't tell Rambi about it. Shahana congratulates her for the good news. She asks her why she can't tell this to Rambi and asks her to tell her everything in details. They both head to the hotel to have a talk. Prachi tells that she would go to the washroom and come. Rambi happens to be at the same hotel. He sees Prachi with Shahana and goes to meet Shahana. 
He greets her. She rebukes him for leaving Prachi in sorrow. She tells that Prachi was crying on the road. She asks that Prachi is in this condition because of him. She asks him if he isn't aware of Prachi. She gets angry that he couldn't keep Prachi happy. Rambi rushes to see Prachi. She meets Jay and asks him about Rambi and Prachi's fight. Jay shocks her by revealing that Rambi has got married to Bria now. Rambi meets Prachi. He asks her what she is hiding from him. She tells that she has nothing to hide. She, he tells her that she is hiding her tears. It means there is something. He adds that pra Shahana told him everything. She tells that Shahana is lying and making stories. He asks her if she loves him. Prachi cries. He tells her that she loves him and he knows of it. Her anger has calmed down now and she is emotional now. She went out of the house to shed tears. He asks the reason for coming back home to him. He asks her to say what she is hiding. He wipes her tears with love. Prachi asks him not to show fake concern that he cares for her. He tells that they have emotional attachment between them. She tells that he broke the relation. He tells that she could still keep the relation. He asks that his heart is crying, seeing her tears, even unknowing that she hates him. He asks her to answer him, why can't they stay together? Prachi falls weak for some time and hugs him. She recalls their bitter fight and separation. She pushes Rambi away and runs from there. Shahana finds Prachi scared. Rambi tells that he doesn't know anything. Prachi is hiding something. Shahana scolds him further for his deceive. R Jay asks Rambi, didn't he tell Shahana that he got divorced with Prachi? Rambi tells that he didn't get divorced yet. Jay asks him why did he marry Rhea then? Rambi tells that he was helpless. He wants to talk to Jay later. He brushes after Prachi. He arrives home. Rhea asks him about his meeting. He asks for Prachi. Palavi tells Rhea and Rambi about the event at home. She wants to introduce her new barhood to the guest. Prachi arrives home. She gets to learn Palavi's plan. She wants Palavi. She tells her her impression can get worse when Palavi introduces Rhea as the new Bahu. The people will know the truth that Rhea was her Bahu before, as well when Rhea was married to Sidat. She tells her the people will call it a fraud. She adds that she is Rambi's real wife. Palavi asks her to cancel her program and meet her friends in the event. She tells that people should know Rambi's ex-wife and his current wife, Rhea. She tells her the people should decide it themselves who the real Bahu of the house is. Rhea tells that she would welcome the guests. Rambi asks them to stop the family drama. He wants some peace, else he would go mad. He asks them to find a solution. Alia comes next and tells that the solution is just one. That's to throw Prachi out from the house. She questions Palavi. She tells that she couldn't come in Rhea's marriage, but Rhea... Is still in trouble because of Prachi. She tells Palavi why she didn't keep Prachi at home. Palavi apologizes to Alea. Prachi tells that she would explain to Alea as she explained to the guest in the wedding. Palavi asks her not to stay a word in between. Prachi tells that Alea is a boa. She tells that she would respect the relation which is connected to Abby. She asks Alea to break her relation with Abby to end ties with her. Rhea asks Prachi to have some shame. Prachi tells her she pities them who use relation as their convenience. Alia tells that Abby doesn't regard Prachi as his daughter. Prachi tells that Abby has accepted her back and will tell them one day. Alia accuses Prachi for snatching Rhea's love. Daddy defends Prachi. Prachi tells that she doesn't feel bad if a family member scolds her. She tells Alia that Rambi is her husband and she holds a right on him. Prachi tells that she has no mood to prove again that she is Rambi's wife. She tells that Rhea will feel bad. She acts tired of the drama. She asks Rhea to explain it to Alia. She asks Leah to tell the truth without any melodrama. She turns Rhea that she has much time to waste on such stories. She goes to take rest. Daddy asks Rambi to take a stand for Prachi. Palavi asks you did that. Rambi stops Palavi from hurting Daddy's statement, sentiment. He tells that nobody will tell anything to Daddy else his anger will burst on them. He knows Daddy has a soft corner for Prachi in her heart. Prachi asks Daddy 
if she's feeling that she is misbehaving, daddy asks her to just think of herself, not anyone else. Perhaps she doesn't like to show this drama to daddy. Daddy tells that she is hopeful that the house will get the lost piece back. She feels happy seeing Prachi showing Rhea her right place. She tells that she had tried to show Rhea's truth to Prachi before, but Prachi didn't realize it. Prachi regrets that she couldn't see Rhea's truth. Daddy tells that she wants Rambi to support Prachi. Prachi tells that she doesn't want to ask for his help. She is glad that daddy is supporting her. She asks daddy to bless her. Daddy blesses and promises that she would always be there for her. Alia tells Palavi that she is tensed for Rhea. Rambi is behaving so normal. Palavi asks Alia not to blame Rambi for re Ram Prachi's return. She tells that Rambi married Rhea as they wanted. Alia replied that she, he didn't do any favor on them. Rhea asks them to stop arguing. Prachi would get happy to see them fighting like this. She tells that they have to make Prachi out of the house and also Rambi's life too, legally. Palavi tells that Prachi has the support of the laws and also NGO. She will not go away easily. She hopes that Prachi doesn't do any drama to insult her in front of her friends. She tells Alia that she has planned her friend's birthday in the party. Alia asks her if she can come in the party. Palavi asks her to join. Alia tells that she would come to keep an eye on Prachi and protect Rhea's rights. She feels sorry that she couldn't attend Rhea's marriage. She asks how Prachi did change so much. She asks Palavi to take care of Rhea. Palavi tells that Rhea is safe with her. She asks Alia not to worry. Rhea asks Alia to come home on time tomorrow because Prachi has challenged her that she would oust her in three days. Alia asks Rhea to challenge Prachi back. Rhea tells that police will take action against them if they oust Prachi. Alia tells that police won't do anything. She shares her plan with Rhea. She asks Rhea to wait for tomorrow. Rhea gets super excited for the easy plan. She knows that Rambi won't even realize this plan and Daddy will be helpless too. Prachi will be out of the house. Daddy tells Rambi that she is upset with him. He tells that his life is also upset with him. She has a right to get angry. She wants to know if he has challenged or not, changed or not. He tells that he has not changed, but Prachi has changed a lot. She tells that Prachi has changed because she has seen Rambi's change. Rambi doesn't love her now. She doesn't like Rambi's change. Rambi asks why she's favoring Prachi. She tells that he didn't say what to defend his truth and his wife, at least for Abby. She is hurt that he stayed back quiet when Aliyah insulted Prachi. He tells that Prachi told him that she has come to trouble him, but she is getting troubled herself. He sees love in her eyes instead of anger. He wishes that she accepts his love. She wants... He wants her to beat him and vent her anger. He tells her Prachi is emotionally weak, but she acts strong. She's hurting herself and also playing with his emotion. He tells her Prachi doesn't need his support. He will be there for her only if Prachi asks for his support. Daddy asks him to calm down. He tells her Prachi has to take the first step towards him. He asks her not to ask Prachi to do this. She should come to him by his her self-will. Daddy is glad to know their feelings. She is hopeful for their union. She tells that she won't tell anything to Prachi. Later, Rambi speaks to Shahana. She confronts him from his, for his decision to marry Rhea. He asks her to come home tomorrow. He will talk to her and tell her everything. He tells that she will not judge him once he tells her the entire truth. He asks her to wear some festive clothes because Palavi has kept a party at home tomorrow. He tells that she would be his Guest, Shahana tells that she will not leave him if he is at fault. She defends Prachi. At night, Prachi feels hungry and goes to the kitchen to find something to eat. Rambi meets her and stops her with his hand. She asks him to leave her hand. He asks her not to go. He will make sandwich for her. She refuses. Prachi and Rambi have a moment when he reminds her the past togetherness. He makes a sandwich for her. He asks her to go to her room if she wants. He asks if she's scared to thank him or that he would ask her anything. He asks her what her intentions is to trouble him or not. Prachi tells that she came to trouble him. He asks her to call the police and get him arrested. Prachi tells that she would punish him worse. He tells that she can't even see him hungry. She can never hurt him. He knows that she can't lie. She still cares for him. She calls it misunderstanding. She tells that she would prove that she just came to trouble him. 
He tell he asks her to trouble him later and have the sandwich first. He goes. She tells that she will trouble him in the party. She will make sure that he remembers the party forever. Rhea handles the decoration. Prachi likes the decorations. Rhea tells that she knows decorations and also to impress guests. She calls Prachi a guest in the house. She taunts that she has fixed Prachi's departure date. Okay guys, thank you for watching today's episode on Twist of Fate. Stay tuned on the next episode and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.